Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna see you know how to allocate the memory dynamically using the malloc function, and then how to deallocate that allocated memory using the free function. So, if you guys don't know about you know what is this dynamic memory allocation, what's the need of it? Please watch my other video tutorial on dynamic memory allocation. Okay, first we're gonna see the syntax of these two functions, and then you know we're gonna see you know how to use them in our program. Before we start with the, our tutorial, uh, you need to include this stdlib, which is standard library.h header file, to your program if you want to use this malloc and free functions. This malloc function is going to take the number of bytes that we want to allocate, and this malloc function is going to return the address of the first byte of the allocated memory. So when we use this malloc function, it's going to allocate the requested bytes from the heap and if you guys don't know you know what is this heap then uh, please watch my tutorial on uh, dynamic memory allocation if the number of bytes requested are present in the heap to allocate then it's gonna allocate that memory and return the address of the first byte and if that number of bytes are not present in the heap then it's gonna return a null value so here white star means that the function is gonna return the address in memory and the pointer does not have any data type so while using this ml function we can, we can cast this returned address to the appropriate type and I'm gonna explain that when we are using and this free function is used to you know deallocate that allocated memory using the malloc function so as a parameter to this free function we need to pass the address or the pointer returned by this malloc function and this free function is not gonna return any values okay now we're gonna see you know how we can use this in our program so first I'm gonna show you you know how to create a pointer and allocate memory dynamically to store a integer value so for that we need a integer pointer so I'm gonna create that so it's gonna be int star p then we're gonna use the m alloc function so it's gonna be p equal to m alloc and the number of bytes so in my system to store an integer value I need four bytes and you can check that using the size of operator so if you guys don't know about this size of then uh, you can watch a video tutorial on that okay now it's gonna be the size of int so this size of operator is gonna return how many bytes required to store an integer value so in my system is going to be 4 so this ml function is going to allocate 4 bytes in the heap so we are going to cast this to integer because you know we are storing the integer value in our allocated memory so it's going to be int star so p equal to m alloc of size of int is going to allocate enough memory from the heap to store a integer value so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check whether you know the malloc function has successfully allocated the memory for us or not so if that malloc function has successfully allocated then it's gonna return the address of the first byte and if it has failed to allocate then it's gonna return the null value so we're gonna check that using p equal to null if p equal to null it's gonna mean that you know uh, the memory wasn't allocated and we're gonna say that uh, using I put as function fail to allocate memory else which means you know the malloc function has successfully allocated memory for us then we're gonna store the value in that um, allocated memory so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use star p equal to let's say 20 next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna retrieve the value so I'm gonna use the printf function so it's gonna be printf then uh, percentage %d because you know we are dealing with the integer value and star p save this one execute compile and run so you can see here you know we have successfully allocated the memory using the malloc function and we have stored and retrieved the value in that uh, uh, allocated memory so the next thing is once you allocate some memory from the heap the 
as a programmer you need to free that memory so if you forget to free that memory you know then uh, that then the allocated memory will not be available to any other programs running in the system you know that's why we're gonna free that memory for that we're gonna use the free function and as a parameter we need to pass the address returned by the malloc function which is p I mean which is the value stored in this point of p so it's gonna be p and execute compile and run you can see here we have successfully allocated the memory we have uh, stored some value we have retrieved that value and we also free that allocated memory so next if you want to create a floating point pointer you need to change this one to float and um, here it's gonna be float size of float and uh, let's say a value of 20.32 and we're gonna use percentage f here that's it save it execute compile and run you can see here you know we have successfully um, allocated the memory to store a float value next uh, if you want to you know allocate the memory to store a character value you need to change this one to care here also care and here also next um, we're gonna store a character value let's say a then I'm gonna use percentage C save execute compile and run you can see here you now we have successfully allocated the memory to store a character value so the next thing I want to teach you is how to allocate the memory to store the number of characters entered by the user so here in this case we don't know you know what's gonna be the length so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna remove all these things and uh, we're gonna start uh, uh, writing the program to allocate the memory to store the enough number of characters entered by the user and you know we don't know the size okay first uh, we're gonna create a pointer it's gonna be char p and uh, next uh, we need a variable called the length subtype integer and then we can ask the user to enter the length of the string he's gonna enter so it's gonna be I'm gonna use a put as function and I'm gonna ask the user enter the length of the string that you are gonna enter okay that's a good message and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna store the length entered by the user so I'm gonna use a scanner function and I'm gonna use percentage D because the length is a integer value and I'm gonna store that in my length variable so that's why I'm gonna use ampersand length here so the next thing we're gonna do is you know we're gonna allocate the memory using the amalloc function so we'll be using p equal to then m alloc and here the size since the values entered by the user are of character type so we're gonna use the size of char which is always one but you know it's always a good practice to use this size of operator then we need to multiply that with the length and plus one so why this plus one all of you know that you know when we deal with the strings a string always ends with a null character so we always need one byte of more memory to store that null character and that's why I'm gonna add one to this okay so the next thing that we need to do is we need to cast this one to character type so it's gonna be char star in the brackets the next thing we're gonna do is you know we're gonna check whether the memory has been allocated for us or not so I'm gonna use the if statement if p equal to null it's gonna mean that you know the memory wasn't allocated for us I'm gonna say using the put as function I'm gonna say uh, memory is not available else if that memory is allocated for us successfully then 
the next thing we're gonna do is you know we're gonna flush the input stream so that you know if any characters is present in the buffer then it will be cleared for that purpose I'm gonna use the f flush function and then we need to pass std in which is standard input as a parameter to this f flush function and next I'm gonna ask the user to enter the string so we're gonna ask enter the string okay it should be in double quotes all right the next thing is you know we're gonna receive the value I'm gonna use the get as function and it's gonna be P next we'll be printing that value entered by the user for that I'm gonna use the put as function so it's gonna be put as and P and the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna free that allocated memory I'm gonna use a free function as a parameter we need to pass P this is it I'm gonna save this one and okay everything is alright execute compile and run enter the length of the string that you're gonna enter so I'm gonna say 5 and when I hit that it says enter the string so here I'm gonna enter the string of length 5 so I'm gonna enter ng a n g i e which is of you know five characters and then hit enter you know it just printed out the value that we have entered so when we enter the length of the string which is five in this case you know this malloc function has allocated six bytes actually you know size of character is one one into length which is five plus one which is equal to six six bytes in the heap and uh, and then we just store that enter value using this um, get as function in that allocated memory then we just printed out the value from that memory and, and also you know we just freed that allocated memory so this is it guys this is about the malloc function and free function and see so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my facebook page at facebook.com learninglad and i'll see you in the next tutorial